What's good, everybody? So, it's been a while since I did a video like this. Like, a video that has a lot of commentary or whatever on it. But, I figured I'd make a video where I explain how to be a better attacker. Because this is something I struggle with. And it's probably is something that a lot of people struggle with. Defense is really easy, like, you know, because the team has to come to you. Like, you get kills by pretty much holding the areas that they have to put us to get in flanks and stuff like that. But... Attacking is pretty much the hardest part of Siege, in my opinion. So, I got a full game almost here, or at least a few clips that I'll show y'all. And I'm going to explain, like, what my mentality was when how I pushed and stuff like that in these clips. I'm pretty much just going to let the footage play, and then I'm going to explain what I did, I guess. That sounds mad redundant, but yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all understand that, like, you can apply the stuff that I say to y'all's gameplay to make y'all better. So... Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and let this play a little bit, and then I'm going to explain what I'm doing here. So basically, this is the start of the round or the start of the game, and when people get border or when we're all playing border, a lot of people, the default site, they'll go to is armory, so... Me knowing this, a lot of the times you have to have your pushes or what you what you think you're going to push like in your head mapped out. At least that's what I do when I'm loading into a game. So, I'm on the Zofia and I'm visualizing that, of course, they're going to be holding armory. So, a lot of the times there's going to be somebody behind the half wall. So, I got the Zofia so I can use the impact to make a hole in the floor. So, that removes that guy from being able to play there at least safely. He can still play there if nobody's watching it, but he won't be able to do it safely. Like, you, you get defenders on edge. That's, like, pretty much how you attack his siege. You want to push people out of areas that they have to hold down and make the, the defenders uncomfortable. That's how you win. So, I'm on the Zofia, and I go to impact the hole. That's pretty much what my push is. That's pretty much what I think I'm going to push in the beginning of the round. So, I put a drone down here in events, I believe it is. To make sure nobody's like in the main lobby and stuff like that while I push the window and try to get this impact off. So, but what you're going to see is there's a, I think it's a Cade and he starts putting holes in the floor. And once I see that, I know I have to get the pick on that guy because he's going to play there safely. And once we get this wall open, we definitely not going to be able to plant with the smoke in the C4. So this starts my plan of how to remove him from the half wall. Uh, they have a Cade. Okay. I'll go in. I'll go in. Nah, I understand. Nice. When you're attacking, the best info that you can have, or the most important thing that you need to have, is your drone. You cannot fly your drone in there, just fly it in the site, and just hope that you're going you're going to get picks and stuff like that when you push, or try to get points to get higher on the leaderboard. That's not that's not what you do. The best thing you can do is leave your drone in the area that you know you're going to push. Like I did at Vince, and I got the intel that the cave was there so I could pick him. You want to do that, or you want to just leave it outside and go pick it up when you spawn. That's the biggest thing. If you take nothing else from this video or what I'm saying, that's the biggest thing that you have to do. You have to have your drones. Go ahead, comment. Alright, so basically when I get the guy out of half wall, I know that there's always going to be somebody playing archives as well. And if it's not cleared, I'll be able to push in there free. So when I hop up on vents, I don't know what, there's something that I really just don't think sometimes. I play a lot of Siege, so a lot of this stuff like just comes naturally. I'm like, I'm not trying to gloat, but, because I'm not by far, like I'm not really, I'm not a top tier Siege player at all. But sometimes in Siege, I just do stuff. And you're going to see what I mean, like, in this in this next pick. So when I hop up on events, I just bust open the window. I know 9 times out of 10, there's going to be somebody playing behind the desk. And it just happens to be a mozzie. Or they'll be standing on top of the desk, like, to pick you when you peek the window. So I've been killed by that so many times that I know somebody's there. So I use Zofia's concussions. And here's what happens. Like, here's how that plays out. Sometimes you just got to send it, bro. And if you don't know what I mean by that... 
You'll see it by the end of this clip. So you guys saw once I picked the Mozzie, I had already got the guy from half wall. So I immediately turn and direct all my attention into Armory. I'm on Zofia, so I, I'm playing like the entry frag role. So I'm going to go to where I think the people are at. So I killed the guy half wall at the beginning of the round. I picked the Mozzie and Archives. There's only three more people left. So they're only going to be Fountain, Office, Armory, or CC. My direct attention is because I picked the guy already in Armory, I'm going to go. And I'm going to see whoever's else in there. And I'm just going to try to win my ones from that point. It would be dumb to have my teammates like rotate all the way over to archives. Because then they would have to go past East Stairs through office and in the archives. Or come through Metal Door. And we don't know if Armory's clear yet. So I might as well, since they're already over there by the balcony. Just direct all my attention to Armory and try to get my picks. And that's what I thought about doing here. And... It worked out so if it didn't work out like if i would have lost my ones or whatever then hey that would have been very bad but yeah that's it for this clip but i have another one i gotta show you so the second site that people like to go to is vents after they're done with armory so a lot of the times when you're playing good skilled people or higher rank people they're gonna play from up top so they're gonna hold armory and archives and then they're gonna just make holes in the floor so you can't plant events or like the other site like the b site with the window so me knowing this at the start of the round remember what i told y'all about your drones i take my drone and i put it in office because i'm gonna i'm visualizing my push through office to fountain and into archives and taking control of armory and doing it like that that's what i'm that's my plan on what i'm gonna do so I put a drone in office. They didn't reinforce the wall. I have the Zofia impacts, and I'm just going to go. And this is how that played out. The bomb. Yeah. Oh, my God. almost killed you. Right now, yo, two in our cars. Come on, come on, come on, hit it. Oh. No, 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 no. You are wild. Another one, another one, guys. Like left, left. Motherfucker. I killed three. The timing was crazy on that echo. Like when he was putting the shield up and stuff like that. If that man was ready for me, uh, and he and he picked me, like he, if he was ready, I, I'm definitely dead. Like, like no lie, and I kind of potatoed on that smoke field when he came out, but yeah, it most definitely worked out. Mostly, all you have to do when you attack is just see what they're holding, what site they go to. If it's downstairs, you gotta take control of up top. If it's up top, then. You can play vertically from below or on some type of windows or you can push the balcony on this. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have to just be ready for it. You can't just... I don't think you could play Siege just going. Like, you know, you need to have some type of plan. And that's why people don't do good on attack. Like, they just go in, no drone, no calls. They don't use their mic, none of that stuff. And then they get mad when they lose the game. Like, that's not, that's not how you play Siege, bro. That's definitely not how you play Siege. Drones, drones, and more drones for Intel. Like, it's an Intel meta right now. And attackers have crazy amounts of cams, so you need as many amounts, as many drones as you can when you're attacking, so. All right, so last attacking clip. So in this one, I don't play just Zofia. Like, for like, there might be some people watching this, they'll be like, yo, he's a one trick. He only entry frag. Yo, listen. I play a lot of operators, bro. I'm trying to, I want to cut off flanks like this time. So I'm on the Nomad. So what I do is I'm going to push CC. They're in armory again. I'm going to push CC. I'm going to Nomad that door. So my teammates don't have to worry about getting flanked from CC when they try to get the armory wall. 
And from there on, I'm just going to go play for picks. I see someone East Stairs. I see someone Office. And from that point, I just think I'm just going to push Archives just because. Just to throw them off on, you know, I'm pushing the right side where my teammates are pushing the left like a pension type of deal. So, again, Intel, I have my drone. I have the Intel from my drone. And from there on, I just visualize the best push. I can't go right through metal because there's a mozzie there. I peek him and I see him. So that would be dumb for me just to go through the front door. And he, he has a better, he's going to win that fight. Like he's more ready for that than I am. So the best push for me is I see the Jaeger push and, I, and then I don't know where the Ella went, but I drawn it again. So the best push for me is, like I said, I visualize me pinching them from the right and my teammate pinching them from the left. And you can kind of see what I'm kind of thinking from my gameplay right here, but I'm going to go ahead and let this roll. And y'all can see how I did it for myself. So me on the Nomad, getting it done, baby. Oh my God. I kill Kate. I kill Kate. I think I was one, focused on this. One in the closet. One in the closet. He's sandwiched, not other. What is that? I don't have drones, bro. Guess stuns? He's just stuck in his corner. Smoke's stuck in his left corner. No, my dude, you have to make a play. Close left. Close close. Smoke dead. Smoke dead. Nice. Hello, 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 closet, closet, closet. Any small closet. Metal, huh? Fine, fine. Nice. Insane. Four eliminated. Shit. Uh, should we do a stupid pick? So they're not. Oh. They're what we stupid. should do is stop peeking his echo. That's what we should do. Like I said, Siege is just a mentality game. You get smarter and smarter by the way you play or playing a lot. And you learn how to, I guess, deviate or navigate through what the attackers are doing from a pretty much trial and error. Like, you just play people. If something doesn't work, you try something else. You try something else. And you just keep adapting the situation. And that's how you become a better Siege player. So, on attack, drones, drones. Drones and more drones. You have to have the intel to push areas. That will be the the difference between winning and losing. And on defense, it's an intel thing again. Valk cams, echo drones, maestro cams, that type of thing. Legion mines for goos. I know he was derf, but if you can remember where your goos are, that type of intel. It's an intel based game right now, especially. The more intel you have, the better you are going to be. Unless you just got a team of gunners and you just gonna rush in with Finka. <laughs> but hopefully this video helped y'all out. Let me know if it did in the comments down below. And I will catch y'all on the next one, bro. Peace. Feeling fresh, summer recess. Got shorty wearing a cocktail dress. Yeah, she got style in excess. Ain't nobody match her to the best. Call a homie, maybe two. I finna link up and go and get a bro. Cause we ain't got school no more. We ain't got school no more. Got no